The Dragon's Birthday, written by Margaret May and illustrated by Philip Webb. The dragon was looking forward to his birthday. He would be a thousand years old. He said to himself, when I am a thousand years old, I will buy a thousand balloons. I will blow them all up. I will dance in the air with a thousand balloons all around me. The night before the, his birthday, the dragon counted his gold. Just enough for a thousand balloons, he said to himself, and he set off happily for his midnight swim. Alas, while he was down on the beach, a robber crept into the cave and stole all the gold. The dragon came back and cried a thousand tears. The next morning, a boy named Richard said to his sister, today's the dragon's birthday. Everyone knows that, said Claire. Poor dragon, no one's brave enough to go up to his cave and say happy birthday. Perhaps we could go, said Richard. It's too dangerous, said their mother. He might frizzle you up. I've got an idea, said Claire. We'll dress up like a dragon. With the dragon mask and the old red and green curtains, said Richard. We'll get Henry and Hoya from next door and Billy from down the road. Then we'll go up the hill and wish the dragon a very happy birthday. We'll be quite safe, said Claire. A dragon wouldn't frizzle another friendly dragon. I'll bake him a cake, said their mother. A thousand year old dragon deserves a treat. Late that morning, the robber was coming down the road with the jar of stolen gold. At the same time, Richard and Claire, Henry and Hoya and Billy were going up the road wearing their dragon costume. They looked very dragonish, except for their 10 feet, which were all in school shoes. Around the corner they went. There, suddenly, they bumped into the robber. It's a dragon, screamed the robber in a guilty voice. Help, help, all is discovered. The dragons are after me. He was too terrified to notice the five pairs of school shoes. He dropped the jar of stolen gold and ran away as fast as he could. What was that? said Richard, who was halfway down the dragon. I thought I heard someone shouting. Billy, who was wearing the mask, said, I don't know. The mask slipped down. I couldn't see. He put the mask straight. Gold, he cried. There's a jar of gold spilled on the road. Hoya came out from the tail of, go of the dragon. It is gold, she said. We've got a cake for the dragon. Now we can buy a present too. What shall we get him? said Claire. Henry looked out from under the curtain. Let's visit the balloon shop. Maybe we'll get some good ideas in there. That afternoon, the dragon sat outside his cave, weeping another thousand tears. I'm a thousand years old today, he sobbed, and all my gold is stolen. No gold, no balloons. I'll have to say for another thousand years. What a long time to wait for birthday balloons. Happy birthday, called a voice coming up the path was a very funny dragon. It had 10 feet, all wearing school shoes. It bounced and floated on the path. And no wonder, it had a thousand balloons tied to its tail. The dragon gasped. He saw red balloons, blue balloons, pink and silver, green and gold balloons, yellow as sunshine balloons, orange as sunset balloons, long balloons, strong balloons, fat balloons, cat balloons. He could not believe his dragon eyes. 
one has remembered my birthday, he cried. Oh, happy hour. Oh, happy balloons. Oh, happy, happy birthday. When Richard and Claire got home, their mother said, did the dragon enjoy his cake? He loved it, said Claire. He ate it in one mouthful, candles and all. Look, Richard pointed up into the sky. There, far up in the blue air, the dragon flew dancing and spinning on shining wings. Around him, dancing and spinning, flew a thousand balloons, all the colours of the world.